y'all, welcome back to Rated RPG, your number one channel for gaming news and commentary. I'm your host, Ray, and today we are talking about the PlayStation 5 and its price points. There is a new report out from Bloomberg. Yes, that website that is owned by uh, presidential candidate Michael Bloomberg. Who cares? Uh, and what is happening here? They are saying in this report that the PlayStation 5 may be more expensive than we originally anticipated or it's just that Sony doesn't know what they're going to price it at because of yada 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 pricing issues, what's Xbox pricing it at. Let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into the weeds. So they say that, according to this report, that the PlayStation 5 currently costs about $450 to make. And that's because of the price of various costly memory parts. I'm not going to get into the hardware specifications because... I wouldn't know what the hell I'm talking about. But suffice to say, the hardware itself, the specific memory parts, and apparently a coolant system to overcome the PS4's loud fan noise issue is all jacking up the hardware price. Now, $450. What does that mean for the price point for us, the consumer? Some folks are thinking, okay, this could mean that they could upcharge to $500. Personally, I think that's a bit low. That seems like a very small margin on hardware. I know, I know, I know, I know that companies lose money on hardware all the time just for the purpose of getting it into your hands so that you'll then go out and buy all their games. I know that's kind of been like what the whole last generation was like, but a $500 price point still seems very low to me. The... PS4, if I remember correctly, please correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, I think it launched, what, at $399? And that was very reasonable. But I think we could end up seeing some PS3 prices. PS3 launched at $500 for the Basic and $600 for the Pro. Honestly, I'm thinking we may end up seeing a $550 to $600 price range. Sony has, according to this report, not nailed down anything just because they're waiting to see what Microsoft prices the Xbox... Oh, pardon me, that's dinner. Uh, prices the Xbox One X at. And on one hand, yeah, that's a solid That's a solid move. That's waiting to see what your competitor uh, prices at to see if you want to match or undercut them. $600. That's what I'm thinking is what the price for the PlayStation 5 is going to max out at. And honestly... I don't have a problem paying that. If you had said to me back in the PS3 days, $600, I would have lost my top. I did lose my top. I didn't buy a PS3. I bought a more affordable Xbox 360, and I regret it now. But at the time, that's what people were buying. But now, given the added value that the PS5 is going to have... We are at a point now where we know what the next generation of technology is going to look like. We have a good enough grasp of understanding the technology. We know there's only so much that you can go from from one generation to the next. And knowing that we're going to get from this point on the PlayStation 4 to this point in the PlayStation 5, I think... I would be actually willing to pay a $600 price point. Not because the graphics are going to be this huge upsell or up uplink, whatever. I I get it. People are all excited about all these new polygon counts, all these new ray tracing. I don't even know if polygon counts are still a thing. But to me, that's not what the price I'm paying for is. I'm committed to buying a PlayStation 5, not an Xbox And that is because I have bought in. I am invested in Sony. I am invested in the IP that they have. I'm invested in kind of the creative vision and direction they've taken with uh, carving out niche, hardcore, single-player games. So I think I would still be happy to pay $600 to stick with that vision. And what's more, the added value of we know that the PlayStation 5 is minimum going to be backwards compatible with PlayStation 4, minimum. So, usually when you get this uh, launch, you have a new piece of hardware, but only a small smattering of games that comes out with it, and then a very small, even smaller percentage of that is something you might even be interested in, but knowing 
as we do that the PS4 is going to you know, be able to play everything on the PS4 on the PS5 that adds value and it's going to upscale stuff to the level that the Pro did so all my PS4 stuff that says PS4 Pro enhanced I haven't done that yet because I haven't invested in a PS4 I'm going to see that graphical jump on the PS5 there are lots of folks I think like myself who were bought our PS PS4s before the PS4 Pro was even conceived and we were happy with them because I never felt the need to upgrade my PS4. I was happy with it. But I'm ready to move on to a next generation. I'm ready to buy in. And honestly, that jump, the understanding that I'm going to finally get that PS4 Pro enhanced type quality along with all the IP and all the creative juices that I'm investing in for the PS5. I'm willing to put my money there. So not everybody may agree with me. Some people say $500. They are going to be happy to pay for that. I say that's a very, very, very attractive price, $500. I would be willing to pay that in an instant. But if they then turn around and say $600 instead, I'm not going to lose my top. This is, honestly, it would take them going higher than 6 for me to have any sort of freak out and honestly, I think a freakout would be well deserved at that point because at a five six hundred dollar price range, looking at com- comparable even PC parts for a PC that has the same build, it's not bad. Seven getting above six, that's where it becomes an issue. So that's my opinion on the matter. Let me know what you think. Tell me I'm an idiot. Tell me I'm a genius. Tell me that I'm entitled to my opinion or that I'm just a dub weeb and don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, So, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, do it, now, rate. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Rated RPG. I appreciate you checking out the channel. Be sure to hit that like button if you liked what you saw. Subscribe to the channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon for notifications so you can get all the latest updates from Rated RPG.